Now, I'm sure most of you have seen the reports, and it's been confirmed that I think it's in May. Payback is not going to be a brand-exclusive pay-per-view. It's going to be a dual-branded pay-per-view, meaning that both Raw and SmackDown superstars are going to appear on it. And I'm sure you've also seen the reports over the past couple of days talking about how WWE may very well be getting rid of the brand-exclusive pay-per-views. It's not just going to be the biggest shows, the big four shows that are dual branded, that all of the pay-per-views going forward are going to be dual branded. And I say this, if it leads to us getting fewer pay-per-views over the course of the year, then that's a good damn place to start. You got too many of these jokers that we care too little about and we have far too little reason to give a crap about. That's a fact. So anything to get us to fewer big shows, fewer special events, fewer pay-per-views, I am down for. It does beg the fundamental question, if you're not going to have brand exclusive pay-per-views, why would you have a brand split still? And that is a topic for another video coming up soon. But I look at this and one of the justifications I saw out there on the interwebs this week is talking about how too many of the matchups are too repetitive and too many of the same people on the Raw exclusive and SmackDown exclusive pay-per-views. You know, this company is really stupid. So let me get this straight. You think the answer to getting rid of repetitive matches on your pay-per-views and repetitive people in terms of the same people always being featured in the same spots is to eliminate your pay-per-view time per month by about a third to go from about a Raw and SmackDown pay-per-view apiece, two hours, 45 minutes, to three hours, so five and a half, to six hours of actual live main card pay-per-view, to going to less than that, four hours. Because that's going to help things, right? Now you've got five hours of television between Raw and SmackDown trying to build up to one four-hour pay-per-view a month. What the hell do you think this is going to do? This is going to lead to you cherry-picking and putting your biggest of biggest names, even though that doesn't mean crap in today's WWE, on the card. The matches are going to be, still be freaking repetitive, and you're going to have so many people who already don't get shine, who already will never get a chance, don't get a chance, and can't get a chance, because of the stupidity and incompetence of WWE, Raw, SmackDown, does not matter. Now you're creating an environment where the vast majority of the roster doesn't have to worry about it, because they're not going to be booked on the freaking pay-per-views anyways. Yay! Way too long fucking matches. A lot of the roster not even featured in a spot that matters. So it's just more like the same shit we're already dealing with. I hate the WWE. This is so stupid. So what you're going to do now is you're going to have undercard and midcard crap more and more and special stipulations given away on TV, which gives you even less reason to watch the pay-per-view because if they're giving you this shit for free, why the hell would you feel the need to pay for it on the WWE Network? But let's get back to the fundamental thing I haven't touched on yet that I just alluded to a moment ago. Four-hour pay-per-views, you heard that shit right! Not just WrestleMania being four to five hours, not Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, you know, the other big four shows being four hours the WWE thinks so highly of you, the WWE values your time so goddamn much that they say, we're not going to shorten the pay-per-views, we're going to make them longer. There are reports that they're going to make all the God-blessed pay-per-views, even the bitch shows, four freaking hours, and that's not even including the kickoff. Seriously, I hate the WWE. And I hate what professional wrestling has become, where every big show has to be so god blessed freaking long! Contrary to popular belief, some of us have lives outside of watching professional wrestling. And every once in a while, we'd like to not be burdened with wanting to actually try to give the show a chance to watch the damn show by having to burn four plus hours of our fucking Sunday night to do so! This is horseshit! This company can't do a decent three-hour show most of the goddamn time. So we feel the solution is to make every single goddamn pay-per-view even longer. Who's the rocket scientist behind this? Who's the idiot that's signing off on this crap? I'm sure this is God. Ugh. So many of you, you're a alleged hero. He's in charge of NXT and it's so great. Ah, the fuck it is. 
He's going to take over 205 Live and it's going to be awesome. Bullshit! Someday he's going to take over the WWE and he's going to make it some type of circle jerk and high production value indie fed like he did with NXT and he certainly will with 205 Live. Kick fucking rocks! What I know is professional wrestling has a significant serious problem with so many of their big shows being just way too goddamn long. Now the WWE, of course! At the height of their corporate arrogance and their stupidity, instead of reducing the number of shows and reducing the length of some of the shows to get more bang for their buck, are deciding they're going to water it down by giving you even more bullshit. And that's exactly what it is. Bullshit. Over the course of the past year plus two, whatever the fuck it's been, since they went back to this brand split, how many of these pay-per-views can you truly honestly say you felt like needed the amount of time that they had. 20%? 15%? If you say anything close to 50%, well, ding dong dumb dicks, you're dead fucking wrong! And then this stupid ass company, I hate these assholes! They're gonna sit there and make every goddamn show even freaking longer? Knowing goddamn good and well, they still won't manage their time well. The matches on these cards will be way too goddamn long. And a vast majority of your roster still won't be featured. And it's not going to help Raw and SmackDown by having all of these special stipulations and blow-offs to feuds there. Because you've been doing this shit for so goddamn long anyways, what the hell's the difference? Your shows are still gonna suck! God damn it! I'm tired of professional wrestling going down... The ultimate a nerd pass. It's professional wrestling. And we want more, more, more. Well, I don't. This is one angry wrestling nerd that's tired of these long ass shows. This is one angry wrestling nerd that thinks this is the height of stupidity to make every one of your goddamn pay-per-views at least four hours long. And then again, to get rid of the concept of the brand exclusive pay-per-views. Why the fuck do you even have the brand split anymore? Why in the hell would you continue to have it? And for all these people that are going to sit there and talk about the WWE and their massive financials, I'll massive my ass. Their stock value is extremely overinflated due to speculation in the stock market, due to things completely and totally out of anything pertaining to WWE Vince McMahon's decision-making or control, so you can pound shit with that one. And as far as the profit margins, it's the same stupid-ass company that gave Dolph Ziggler a million and a half a year, and to pay for that shit, they're sitting there cutting pyros and special stages and all this other crap that would actually help to make the shows better. One thing that will not make the shows better is making them even fucking longer. Even for the nerdiest of fucking fanboy WWE sheep or wrestling hardcore nerds, you must admit that too much of any one thing is not a good thing at all. And in particular, there comes a point in time where enough is enough and we shouldn't have to watch any more than three goddamn hours of a pay-per-view. Four hours, my ass. I hate WWE for doing this crap. Kiss my ass.